Good morning. We just drove to Joshua Tree. We are here on a jiu-jitsu retreat with some of the members of our gym, so we're about to drive to the academy for a seminar and then we'll film some live rolls. So we, we made it to Coachella Valley uh, Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. So now we're going to do some Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> favorite part of the video we're going to get into some live roles and this time we have a special guest joining us in the commentary booth a special guest oh. nice thanks for having me all right austin what are you thinking about i'm thinking about how tired i am this is after like a two and a half hour seminar just and i rolled before this too tried to snatch up an ankle lock here but i'm just giving it Almost no effort, just a real piss poor on my part. Justin's keeping my foot away from him, not letting me get that angle to create that tension on his leg, so I just decided to abandon it and come up. You do get the sweep. Cool, I do. You hear that, Justin? Points. <laughs> Here, I'm, I've been really trying to figure out some body lock passing lately, and this is not that, but a principle of that is like when he's got that butterfly hook in right there, I'm trying to kill it by being heavy and putting his heel to his butt and then step over his knee. And this is uh, maybe the worst <laughs> example of that, but that's what I'm trying to do. Justin's framed me away pretty good with that really deep collar uh, grip. And at this point, I'm kind of just trying to be heavy and annoying and enter into another really bad knee cut and spin around him. And I just kind of like to concede this half guard. Justin just grabs a Kimura grip. Uh, and I should be trying to connect my hands or do something. I decide to do nothing and Justin's gonna rip this out and almost rip my shoulder off. What am I doing? Oh, I'm trying to go for mount? That made no sense. Yeah, Justin will roll me right over. I'm lucky I've got really flexible arms. That's probably not advisable for most people. It's also away from my body. I should be trying to get my shoulders to the mat and like my arms connected, but I'm just kind of like letting it noodle out there because it's not hurting me. That was a nice arm drag sweep there. Uh, that's a bad chair set, but that's a chair set nonetheless. I should probably tuck my elbow a little bit more, my choking arm elbow. Oh, I'm still cinching it up, I guess. Yeah, I get it as deep as I want. I grab the other uh, lapel to take away more space. I'm gonna tuck my arm behind uh, his back. I probably could have transitioned to a bow and arrow here that would have been more effective, but I just know if I like squeeze slow and long enough, it'll tap. Nice, smack. I'm praying that the round's over at this point. I'm so tired. I'm like, yay, did it. But Justin is not gonna let me off that easy. He's gonna try and pin that arm down. I'm gonna try and extend my body to keep him away from me. I tried, to, th this is a mistake on my part. I tried to re regain full guard right there and he shut down my right knee. And then this cross face he came in really quick with was just like really destabilizing. And he locks his hands behind me and he's gonna walk that knee up and just like split right across me in the mount, which is something I like doing to people. He's doing it to me. Are you okay? No, this is insulting. <laughs> He's doing a good job uh, crawling his hand up on the mat to get your elbow high. That cross face is deep as hell. That's not fun. Look at my face. I'm beat red. <laughs> it's miserable. That cross armpit grip. Yeah, you weren't going to get out of there anytime soon, but you're safe by the timer. There is 30 seconds on the clock. I was definitely getting arm triangled. Here we go with the, the blood match. Uh, Austin and I kind of throw all jujitsu etiquette out of the window when him and I roll together. Look at this. Right here, you're gonna bonk, need me in the face. Don't stop, not for a second. Maybe for a split second, but. I did ask if you were all right. <laughs> That's just two white belts doing their best. Yeah, we got free reign to just spaz out. Austin Butterfly sweeps me there. Absolutely textbook but he can't handle that single leg X. Just sweep you right back over. No, I, I, what I was trying to do is I thought you were gonna extend your leg further to try and like really bring me in or something, but you didn't, so I fell back prematurely on an ankle lock. Cause that's the only time I, I'll, I'll really submit Ryan is just by trying to thrash his already weak knees. <laughs> <laughs> go for the, the already compromised joints. But eventually I'm able to get into a kind of chair sit position and I'm trying to fight for his back. Yeah, so right here I'm feeling like someone turned on like a heated blanket and then doused it in mineral oil. It's an immense amount of pressure, it sucks. Uh, now we got a cross body ride, I roll through to the weak side. 
I don't know what I'm doing here. I should not have locked. I'm capsizing myself. Look at the way my leg. Boom. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I should have gone for a banana split. Mm. But, um, that was embarrassing. Here, I'm trying to get a twister. Everyone on the sidelines there is like, twister, twister. I know. <laughs> It's like, I'm getting dunked on already, and they're like, let's give Ryan some notes. <laughs> we we, we paused right here because that dumb, dumb buzzer in the gym. Like, I, I, I would have just kept driving and, like, finished the pass right there, but the buzzer in the gym buzzes as if the round's over when there's a minute left. I don't know. This is a words from a man who needs to work on his conditioning. My conditioning's fine, all right? I'm going hard. <laughs> Go for another ankle lock there. That sweep was great. I love that sweep. That was a good sweep. Yeah. I don't really, what do you call that? What, it's single leg X and then I transition to like De La Hiva and then just roll you four back? You're asking the wrong person. I don't know. There's two people who don't know what they're talking about Lead breaking down. Yeah, let us know in the comments below what that, what sweep that just was. Cool. Here's the fun part of this roll. Here I'm just absolute potato mode. Like sometimes I, I like being really defensive in turtle because I can kind of hang out and fend off chokes like I'm doing right here, but it means I get absolutely thrashed and just like pushed into the mat and look like a sad Pillsbury Doughboy on the receiving end of some schoolyard bullying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got him to his back using a quarter Nelson. It happened kind of quickly. Um, but now I got the Kamora <laughs> grip and I put my foot inside so that I can go to the far side triangle if all else fails. I should attach his elbow to my chest, but I don't. And when I put my foot over his head, it's a little bit of a done deal. Yeah, I had already, it's so stupid, I had already cleared your leg, and then I just let you put it right back in front of my face. But obviously, I'm just like, Humpty Dumpty after he fell off the wall, just completely broken, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't so tired, would you, would you have, would that have been Dude, different? your ankle would be broken off your body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the final roll of the day is with the blue belt at our gym, Forrest. Absolutely 10 out of 10 individual. Uh, and thank you, Forrest, for letting me record this and make a little video about it. Sometimes I forget that I am wearing the gi. Like, I was just collar tying him there, like a no gi or wrestling technique, which is really not, you know, the best thing to do uh, when you're in the gi. And I've been doing mostly no gi classes, so that kind of stuff is in my head. But when I do do gi, I kind of have to reset my brain a little bit. He was in double unders for a sec, and now he's got this pant grip. I move into the move of the day, which is this, whatever you call that, two feet, one hip. The but deep De La Hiva. Sure, but yeah, my top foot there should have been closer to his hip. He just peels it off. He starts to pass my guard, so I look for an underhook, which is not the best idea against Forrest. He has the best loop choke of anyone I've ever rolled with. He like catches people in it constantly. He moves around to my back and tries to throw this foot in while we're standing. But I do a little dance move to get it off. He's got a lot of back control here, but doesn't have complete control of my back yet. And I face and I put my arm up to block his hip, which is a kind of like a textbook sit out in wrestling. And there I go for a bear trap. I tried to get into saddle, but I got caught short, got into bear trap, and then Forrest easily bear and is me. I was hoping he didn't know that there was a really easy bear and when that happened, but he does. I tell him, good job with a pat on the back, uh, and we keep going. It looks like a tap. Leave it in the comments below, was that a tap? <laughs> there, I think Forrest was just tired. I just posted on his chest and he fell over. For a second there, I look for a lat drop, but Forrest isn't going to give me that reaction, uh, so he just kind of pulls me back I'm just on noticing him. that your head just went right into the mat. <laughs> Dude, that's a, that's a post. I do another little sit out, try to face him, and he grabs my lapel. Forrest is basically past my guard here, my knees are up, so he isn't totally past yet, but I'm not in a good position. He goes for mount, and since my knee was at my chest there, I'm able to maintain my guard. Forrest gets a lapel choke there. I roll my head the other way to get out of it. I thought you were trying to ankle lock him with your belt right there. <laughs> Great analysis, Austin. <laughs> it looked like he just tied a knot around his toes. I get butterfly swept again there. And now I have this wizard. I'm very comfortable when I'm in this position. This is a really common position in wrestling. I'm giving him some pressure with my hips and I get my foot out. And I go to backhand pass, but post my left hand on his hip and just swing around for the pass. Working to get his guard back. He comes up into turtle. Oh, what was it? 
Oh, you see that little duck under there? Yeah, wow. Thank you, Forrest, for letting me film this and make a video about it. And that's how we got. Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing like these really tired rolls of ours. You look like shit. <laughs> <laughs>